Mr. Iglesias is a live studio audience sitcom about high school teachers. Ah, the history department. Miss Spencer, an outstanding teacher. Aww. Gabe and Tony, also teachers. Aww. I was supposed to be a teacher. And I went comedy instead of going teaching. I think it's cool that Netflix gave me the opportunity to try out that other life. At ease, y'all. Mr. Iglesias is the cool teacher. Why can't I be the cool principal? <laughs> That's not a real question. I love this show because you look at these teachers, you can go, oh, they just love children, and their hearts are so, and they're like, give me a drink. I like to think that all of our students are honor students. And I'd like to think Idris Elba is at home waiting for me. <laughs> Gabe's the boss, he's awesome. He comes with a built-in audience. His fans are crazy about him. He's a stand-up comic, so he's really quick with the improv. It is time for your presentation, so let's get ready to not mumble. It's kind of really become our teacher. When you watch the show and you see how much energy he has and how excited he is to be here, it's infectious. Gabe really wanted to be authentic and said this in his old high school. So you get a little glimpse of Gabe's world. The fact that we're playing for Woodrow Wilson High School, the real school in the city of Long Beach, it's pretty crazy. And it's a very, very talented group of people from Jacob Vargas, Maggie, Sherry. Oscar, and Richard Gant, and the kids are brilliant. She hasn't been getting a lot of pokes on her dating app, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean, but do you know what you mean? <laughs> They're so talented, and the diversity that's in the show is pretty awesome. It's so important for people to look on that screen and see somebody that they can relate to. There was an episode where Lorenzo had a crush, and he said, do you know how hard it is for a young black man to act like he knows how to handle the ladies? Uh, <laughs> Michael B. Jordan has ruined it for the rest of us. And that is something that myself, Koi, resonates with every day. And so it's little moments like that that I really appreciate the writers for allowing that true, real-life scenario to come into the show. And I really, truly believe that everybody will be able to watch the show and relate. Every episode has a message. We wanted to make sure that the episodes had something real to it. But above all, we got to make sure that people laugh and have fun. A different teacher will be grading Gabriel's class final, so there's no malfeasance. Malfeasance? Somebody's been playing words with friends. <laughs> you don't have any friends. <laughs> Tune in and check out my show.